Paper fed out of tray one feeds out of the right hand side of the tray. It comes up and is turned by the B2 transport, then goes through the 2C, which is the deburring roll, and across the 2D transport. Paper is then turned, goes into the 2E transport, which is part of pre-registration. Paper fed out of tray two is done the same way, feeds out of the right-hand side of the, of the tray. It goes around a baffle that's underneath the fuser, which is the 7G baffle, goes across the 2A transport, and then follows the same paper path as paper fed out of tray one. Next, we're gonna take a look at what happens inside of the transport drawer. Paper comes into the transport drawer, into the 3B area, which is part of the pre-registration. Next, into the 3A, which is the aligner assembly. Out of the aligner, into the CIS sensor. The CIS sensor then to the BTB, which is where the image is transferred to the paper. Then onto the transport belts, vacuum transport, where the paper is transported to the fuser assembly. Once the print has been processed, goes across the vacuum transport and into area five, which is the fuser. This is where the paper exits the fuser and goes into the cooling module. The cooling module has an upper and a lower belt, goes across the 6B module. This is where the full width array is. This is where the actual camera is and this is the roll with the different images on it. If your print is being simplexed, it goes out into the finishing device from here. If your print is being duplexed, it continues down around 7A, 7B, 7C makes a turn here at 7D into the inverter, which is 7E, and then out to 7F, back into the IoT to process the second side. Paper comes into the decurler, comes through and into the high cap stacker. If the customer has programmed the job to go into the cart, there's a decision gate here that directs the paper down into the stacker cart. That same gate will make the paper go up into this top tray if that's the way the job has been programmed. The third option is the paper can go underneath that tray and out to a secondary finishing device. There's a switch right here that when I press it, unlocks this door and lowers the stacker tray. So if the customer's job has gone to the stacker tray and they're ready to take it out, they push the button, open the door, roll out the job that's on this cart, they can roll a new cart or a second cart in, and the machine will be ready for their next job.